Hello there guys and welcome to another video of SEPA. Today's video is gonna be about the Samsung Galaxy Water Balls. Now the Samsung Galaxy Water Balls was developed by Samsung and it's an app that allows you to control different accessories or wearables, how they are called. The good part about Samsung Galaxy Water Balls is the fact that you are actually able to switch between different devices that you already link to um, your phone. As an example, we have in here the Samsung Galaxy Watch, which is here. And we have the Samsung Galaxy Bus Plus, which are here. As you can see, you can jump uh, between them. Yeah. We are going to start with the Samsung Galaxy Watch. Just a short intro. So, the options that you have with the Samsung Galaxy Watch are as follows. In the notification tab, you do have a few options in which you can turn off or off notifications for different tops, if you want to see all of them, you are able to turn off and off notifications. As an example, um, let me go ahead and turn off the notification from Instagram, let's say, or turn it on. So in the moment in which I'm going to turn it off, the watch is not going to show me any notifications from this application. So if you don't really want to be bothered about a different app, just feel free to turn it off. Here you have the general settings. It says the first option is show only while wearing. What that means is that when you are wearing the watch, actually wearing it on your hand, that's going to be the only moment when you're going to have notifications. Apart from that, if it's going to be left on the table or if you're going to uh, leave it for charging, notifications are not going to pop up in there, which kind of makes sense for obvious reasons. You don't want to have that many devices no, you know, giving you a notification about the same thing over and over. The second option, it says show while using the phone. Now, this is an um, option that by default is turned off. And again, it kind of makes sense. The reason being is uh, since you are already using the phone, it will kind of make sense for you to be able to see the notification on the phone. And the, re realistically, there is no actual reason to use the watch in order to have the notification in there. You do have an option in there in which you can pre-settle uh, if the apps that you are going to install in the future are going to have notifications or on or off. You can go also in the advanced um, notification settings. It says in there how to show details. So you are going to have a little bit of uh, a few details on the notification that you are receiving. Notification indicator, turn screen, um, this sort of stuff that is just pretty much if you want to go into, uh, into it a little bit more deeper. Right, so the next option that we are going to check is going to be the apps. Now from the apps, you are able to actually control the applications that you have on the watch itself. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right, so as you may see here, you do have three screens of the watch are going to be the same one that you can see in here. If you're going to take a quick look, you're going to be able, to, if you click in here, you are able to see exactly the same screen. As an example, if you see this one, it's the speed image of it. Let's go to another screen. Let's jump between them. Right. So the screen number two, if you see in here, it's exactly the one in here, which means you can either choose to arrange stuff from here, or if you want to re actually reorder it, so you prefer, I don't know, you, you prefer having something on the first menu, you can click on reorder and you are able to actually edit. Um, by using the edit mode, you are able to edit what you see on the pages on the phone. If you want to cancel it or save. I will say this is a very good feature because what you will see is that even though on the watch it gives you the benefit of being able to have the phone with you all the time uh, in the meaning of you know being able to take calls make calls you know receive uh, text messages you know even receive uh, messages from different apps and respond them it's not as easy to make changes on the galaxy watch itself which kind of makes screen uh, which kind of makes sense given obvious uh, uh, size of screen reasons <clears throat> so the layout you have two options in the in a rotary view so the rotary view is this one the ones in which is like a wheel so speaking and when you 
want to change and you want to go to a different tab, you just spin it. You do have also the option in which you can directly tap on it like this and it's going to open it. Now the second option that you have is called the list view. Layout list view. Let's see if it got changed or not. Now this is how the list view looks like. I would say it's about the same thing, you know, it's just a little bit of a difference in the design itself. I do prefer the rotary one because, I don't know, I just find it easier in my end as an example. Let's go back and change it. Also from the apps menu, you are able to manage your apps. If you click in here, you will be able to see all the apps that you have installed on the watch. If you are going to click on one of the settings wheel in here, you are able to actually set up like quick responses for text messages and stuff like this. I would strongly suggest you to have a look. The good part is that you can actually customize this as much as possible. I do know for a fact that these guys from Samsung, they are working a lot in improving the wearable apps, not just the apps itself, but also the accessories that they are selling, watches, Buzz Plus and stuff. So what you see in here, when I'm navigating through, let's say, the first menu or the home menu pages, those are actually called widgets. If you're going to click on the widgets option, you will be able to see all of them. And Samsung Health, Contacts, Calendar and everything. You are able to swap between them, to rearrange them and also you can either remove by clicking here on this minus or if you want to add it, just click on the plus. You can add the alarm, the shortcuts, internet. It really depends on the options uh, uh, that you will prefer to actually have on your watch. Next option will be sound and vibration. Now, it kind of makes sense from here you are going to control the sounds of your Galaxy Watch. Don't forget that if you are going to ring somebody, you can ring from the phone, from the watch itself. Or if somebody is going to ring you, you are able to answer from the watch. It's not the best, let's say, scenario if you're just using the watch itself. But if you are going to pair the watch with some buds, trust me, that's going to be worth it 100%. If we go to display, we are able to actually change the brightness of the display. Let's see if this is going to do live, yeah? This is going to be quite interesting even for me. Let's change it. As you can see... By changing the display, the brightness in the display, it's actually changing the brightness in the display of the watch itself. That's the reason I'm saying it's quite of a nice app and helps you a lot if you want to control your wearables. You can decide after how many seconds the screen can turn off by setting this screen timeout. If you want to play a little bit more with your watch, feel free to use the advanced section and you will be able to do some more uh, stuff. If you want to add content to your watch, you have the option of add content to your watch. Also what I find quite interesting and we are going to find out exactly how it works, I'm going to show you guys. I will say that find my watch option will be something that is very useful when your watch is connected to your number via one of the services that's offered by the um, major providers. So you will be able to use the watch and make calls, receive calls, you know, receive messages and stuff like that without actually having the phone with you. Let's click on start. <laughs> Now this is an annoying noise, <laughs> but I guess that was the whole point. We do have an option in here which is called mobile networks, add and manage. So from this option, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go through it because pretty much it's going to start setting up the watch um, to actually have its own connection. We'll be linked to the number, but again, in order for you to be able to use it without having the phone, you are able to set up the service directly from the watch in itself. Well, actually you set up from the phone. 
general options, the type of keyboard that you have on the watch when you're typing text messages, keyboard settings if you wanna uh, use handwriting and stuff like that. By the way, let me turn off handwriting. It's definitely is not an option I'm very accustomed to. And I will say the screen of the watch itself is too small in order for this option to actually make sense. But hey, it might work for you. Very interesting, you can also use Bixby. So you will be able to update and use Bixby if you want to communicate with the phone and now stuff. It works about on the same principle as on a phone. You can ask Bixby to do certain stuff in your, in your behalf. Account backup, if you want to synchronize the phone with the settings. If you want to update the watch, as an example, I always want to make sure I'm going to have the auto download over Wi-Fi. The reason being is because it kind of makes sense. Once I'm in a Wi-Fi area, I want to make sure my watch is going to get updated by itself. This way I don't have to worry about not having the proper update or security update. If we're going to go on about the watch, we are going to be able to see the model of the watch, the IMEI of the watch, and so on. Battery storage, how much RAM and how much we have free. As an example, we have 775 megabits free. And you know why? Because we are using Spotify. <laughs> now, if you go on the second option down below, if you can see guys in here, you are able to find some faces for the watch. Pretty much is just the look, design, I would say. You can choose from trend minimalist. Some of them are free. Some of them you have to pay for them. But let's just go through them a little bit so we have a general opinion. You can download. You can scroll through them. Yeah, so you can see them. Quite interesting, I would say. But at the same time, it's not something I'm looking to change. I don't see the point of having a watch in order to keep a Frontier as an example. You know, in my opinion, at least it kind of doesn't make sense. I would say the classic one, it's a little bit better, but that's a matter of perspective and preferences. As I was saying at the beginning of the video, what I really love about the Samsung Wearables app is the fact that you can jump between your accessories. Now, hope you guys have seen the unboxing of the Galaxy Buds Plus. I'm going to connect one of them. And let's change it to Galaxy Buds. Now, as you can see, it tells you indeed the fact that you are on 100% or whatever level of battery you have on them. It gives you notifications in this side, which is quite good. Now, what I've seen in the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, but not in the Buds, is the fact that you do have this ambient sound option, which I'll strongly, strongly advise you to use it. But at the same time, if you're going to go for a run, and the wind is blowing, trust me, you're gonna hear the wind in your ears, like literally. <laughs> so what I tend to do, I tend to use it and leave it on this medium option. But again, that's just when I'm going outside, you know, because at the end, I wanna make sure if there is an event happening around, I will be able to actually react. The second option that we have in the Galaxy Buzz Plus wearable is the equalizer, and this pretty much um, referring to the type of the sound that you like to have in your Galaxy Buzz Plus. Yeah, you can change it. Dynamic, clear, if you want to have it soft or, you know, if you want to have a bass boost, if you are in that kind of music, like, you know, clubbing music and stuff like that, I will see no reason not to use it. If you want to read notifications loud, in the meaning of if you get a notification, the Buzz Plus will be able to, so to speak, read it back to, into your ear, so you don't have to uh, to actually take out your phone and uh, um, read it. But at the same time, if you have a watch, that's going to give you the advantage of being able to see it on the watch. From the read notification, you are able to choose what are going to be the apps that the Buzz Plus are going to read the notification for you. If we go down below, we are going to find touch controls. Now, touch controls is like the menu of the Buds Plus when you have them in your ears. As you can see, play or post track is just one tap. So if you tap on this side of the Buds, hopefully you guys can see it. 
So if you type on this side of the buts, it's gonna either play or stop the music, the recorder. We do have another option, which is play next track, double tap or answer or end the call, double tap. I'm not really using it because usually, as I was saying, I do have the watch with me. I'm answering from the watch and that's gonna take it directly to the Galaxy Buds Plus, which is an amazing feature. And by the way, you will have to connect between them. If you want to make sure by accident you are not going to do something that's gonna, I don't know, stop a call or end a call, you can also block the touches. But again, that's a matter of preferences. If you go to the advanced section, you only have two options, <laughs> which is use ambient sound during calls. I have not tried this option and I'm quite curious given the fact that when you're listening to music, the ambient, as I was saying, if it's windy, you're gonna hear the, literally the wind blowing in your microphone, in the uh, outer microphone of the bus. So it's not the best option to do while you are on a call. You wanna make sure you are going to properly hear the other part. Find my earbuds. Right, so this is connected, the other one is disconnected. I'm gonna leave it here. And I'm gonna click on start. Can you guys hear that? It's not the loudest sound, but hey, it's something. And what I learned is that something is better than nothing. We don't want to do this while we have them in our ears. We don't want to do that. Definitely not. General. Reset earbuds or check for the user manual. Earbuds software update. Same thing, auto download over Wi Fi. I want to make sure I'm always going to have the last update. And then Galaxy Wearables is going to let me know the fact that I need to wear both of them at the same time, and then it's gonna take a few moments to get the update. Tips and user manual, I'll strongly suggest you to start with this one. If you wanna read it, I have an idea about the Galaxy um, Buzz Plus and how they work and how you can make the most of it. If we go to add a new device, we're going to be able to choose another device and link it to our phone. Galaxy Watch and 3, the Active 2, the Active, Fitbit, Galaxy Buds Plus, Galaxy Buds Live. So there are quite a few devices and I'm quite sure in time they are going to add it. Also, if you prefer, you can scan for nearby devices and that's gonna find the device without you having to uh, go through uh, finding the right device to add it. As you may see here, also it's gonna Tell you what's the level of battery of the case itself. In case you haven't noticed or you didn't know, they have two different batteries. So you have the earplugs themselves or the earbuds themselves that they have a battery each inside, and then there is another battery in the case that separates. So that's the reason you can have like two charges of the 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 buds uh, from one charge of the case. In total, you have like three charges. I mean, definitely it's gonna last you one day. Now, this was all about the Samsung Galaxy wearable shop. I do hope you guys enjoyed it, and I do hope you had a few stuff that you could have uh, learned here from uh, uh, this video. Thanks so much for watching this video on Samsung Galaxy wearables. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and even better, share it with your friends. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments menu. You are going to find the video about unboxing the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, also video about unboxing the Samsung Galaxy S20, and most probably we're going to work also on a video on how to use the Samsung Galaxy Watch that we're going to drop in the comments below.